Uh, police have, as you said, just this year in 2011, received half a billion dollars in surplus military weaponry from the Pentagon, um, which is authorized through the Pentagon's 1033 program. Um, during the late 70s, Congress passed legislation uh, called Posse Comitatus, barring the military from operating on American soil. And in the early 80s, there was an effort to circumvent that in Congress by arming police with military-grade weaponry. And now we're seeing that play out in the streets. People in the inner city in the U.S. have been experiencing this um, since the 80s. And now middle class um, Americans at, in the Occupy movement are facing not only pepper spray, but things like the LRAD sound cannon, the long-range acoustic device, which can blast your cranium with 140 decibels, shaking your skull so hard even earplugs won't stop it. And as I reported for Al Akbar English, this weapon has been tested on Palestinians in the occupied West Bank by the Israeli army. So civilians in the U.S. are now up against basically uh, military-style policing. Um, so as you, I, so um, it sounds like you are calling this a militarization of the police force. 